see how big this box is? The roundhouse! I don't think I accurately can describe how big this hand cannon is. I know you could watch a video on the internet and get an idea, but it's massive. I underestimated how absolutely monolithically huge the roundhouse is. Series like a uh, like that's great. Here, perfect. Here is a rapid red. Here is the roundhouse. The roundhouse is physically bigger. Oh, this is gonna be great. Thank you very much for joining the table, Kronos Gem, Nerflinger28 Left, and Dr. Flux. If you would like to get your name on the workbench for all to see anytime my workbench is in the scene, make sure you check out my Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash walcom s7. Five dollars a month or more gets your name on this bench. And it's special thanks to these patrons that support the channel that allow me to get ridiculous stuff like this. Meet the Nerf Rival Roundhouse XX1500, keeping up with the kind of fighting move name mechanic they have going on. Knockout, Charger, Takedown, Roundhouse. It's just getting weird. And this thing is physically massive. I already kind of demonstrated that in the opening, but this thing is huge. It is also $25, which is a bit much, although it looks absolutely fantastic in my opinion, just from looking at the box. And I think this grip is gonna be stupidly comfortable. It advertises a 90 FPS range and on the back, it just says five integrated magazines, rotating chamber and use official Nerf rival rounds only. And it shows the knockout, the Percy's and the takedown and the charger. This is a pretty exciting blaster but it is absolutely flipping huge it ticks most of the boxes except for it's a single shot rival blaster so if this thing is not accurate i don't know what i'm going to do i'm hoping it's somewhat usable though because 15 rounds it's got an interesting little mechanic here and i can't wait to see how that works cut, cut, cut. Ooh, it's also pretty heavy man that box is pretty huge for what it is and rival rounds are up here as are the instructions which we won't really need because we can probably figure it out just by looking at this the all-important first hand test yeah that's pretty good my finger fits right in here rather well grip is certainly big enough it can actually almost be a little bit bigger in my opinion it's a weighty, weighty, chonky blaster, though. This thing just looks amazing, but it's also flipping huge. Calling this thing a pistol is like, I mean, it's supposed to be like a revolver, but man, this, th I cannot overstate how big this thing is. It's got a rail on the priming grip, which is kind of weird, but a rail up here, I assume this does. Yep, that's exactly how you open it up. And then you can also open that up to load in the 15 included rival rounds. So let's jump on that to see how this thing is able to be loaded. Cause wonder if it's actually like super good. Let's assume I'm on the field and I want to just drop these in here. Okay. Huh. Is that, I guess if we're doing 15 that's three per chamber if there's five chambers it's a little weird still kind of get them in there it's a little tricksy though every chamber good to go so this should be for clearing that's so cool though just that whole mechanic right there with that thing sliding forward man that is that is really freaking cool and we pull that back and we should be good to go this is obviously the safety it's a trigger bar it stops it from moving flip that back up it's completely ambidextrous and in a good location because i can flip it with either finger priming grip is kind of huge which is good because you want to be able to get a good amount of purchase on it and you can i think you saw that right there that ooh, 
that round right there hasn't quite gone in yet. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, that felt really clunky, but it did fire. Let's rotate that back. It rotates the chamber. Push that forward, and we can kind of get an idea of how this whole mechanic works. Which is honestly awesome. This thing is kind of a slightly miniaturized version of, say, the Artemis. I don't have one for comparison, and honestly, it's kind of a similar size. It's not that much smaller from what I remember, but it's an interesting little blaster. If there is ever a rival blaster that I would want to use, this is probably it, because... The way this thing works, it's like the perfect size for me. It's comfortable. It's got a grip guard, which is one of my most important things. This definitely could use like a T-pole. I'm expecting that to come at some point in time. It does have a chamber ready indicator right there with that orange. If I fire it, boom, you can see it disappears. Overall, not bad though. Now let's empty this thing out so we can test how the magazines actually work. So what I would like to do here Open this thing up, and I'm gonna drop three rounds. Actually, let's say four. Three into this chamber, one into that chamber. Push that back, prime it, so this is your next, which is good, because that means it's easy to open that up, put a rounds in there, close it, and then prime it and be good to go. But it's not gonna main anything if this cannot fire out of that magazine multiple times. And it can, because this, the actual circle part right here, I didn't notice this at first, is what's rotating when I prime it. The magazines are obviously staying stationary, I just never picked up on that. This is the moving indexing part, and you can't really move it by hand, it doesn't really like that. But that means that I just fired all four of those rounds straight. That is absolutely awesome, well done on that front Hasbro. Now let's, let's see what this is hitting over the chronograph. It's not the easiest thing to reload, but it's also not that bad either. All right, it's pretty easy to see where the barrel is. We got a and 82. So that's a little bit below what it's actually advertising, but that's not a big deal. I mean, it's obviously kind of based off, I would assume the Kronos, but it could have some gearing craziness going on in here, but I'm going to guess this thing's moddable. We're not going to do that in this video. We'll save that for another, but honestly, I'm kind of digging this. I am really hoping this thing is somewhat accurate though. So let's take it outside and see exactly what this thing can do. All right, let's see what the roundhouse can do. This is a, that is a really cool mechanism. Gotta hand it to him. Hmm. Well, that seemed a bit soft, but also seemed fairly straight. Well, there we go. Well, that one wasn't bad. It does seem to be hitting rather softly, I would say. That is not quite the average range. It's not bad, it's really close. Usually that tuft of grass is where Rival generally goes. Oh, that was, that was pretty good, I guess with a little bit of an angle. Oh yeah, with a little bit of an angle it can do it no problem. It does say it only hits 90 FPS on the box, and mine may be hitting a little bit soft, but that could also just be, you know, my chronograph not working right. I'm a little concerned about that right now. Overall, they're going pretty straight. Some of them kind of went a little bit erratic, but that was rather good, all things considered. See how this thing reloads in the field. It is cool how it's it's kind of difficult to put them in there, which means they don't fall out really easily, which I happen to like. They do just kind of pop into place. 
So I'm actually rather impressed with the mechanics here. Oh, uh, uh, of the roundhouse. All right, we're going to go a little bit farther back for this one just so we can get a better idea of the accuracy because this is kind of like almost the full range of this blaster at this point. But it might be good to get a little bit more distance for these for these somewhat of an accuracy test. So the door about the size, you know, give or take of a person. So that could give you an idea. That was a hit. Or me, and I do believe this is the last shot. There we go. Alright, there's really no way to get around this. The, the roundhouse is huge. This is, I think, supposed to be a pistol, and it is massive. It is one of the biggest blasters, even bigger than the Ultra 2, that you can get your hands on for 25 bucks. That's a bit much for what it is but when it comes to the mechanics of how this blaster works i think it's really nice for the price tag there's a lot of little things like this jam clear it's that's that is so cool like that's that's cool just for the barrel sliding board let alone all the magazines and everything like that and it's well designed i cannot fault it for that it seems to be reasonably accurate although it is hitting a little bit softer than i would imagine which means the first thing i'm going to do after i get done with this video is open it up slam the spring in it and shoot another video Rounds don't come out when you open up the magazine. That's really good. And it works in a way that it should be pretty much impossible for it to screw up. So 25 bucks, yeah, it's it's a little bit much. I really think it's a comfortable, fun to use blaster that just looks awesome. Even without a whole bunch of paint on it, the only paint application is the rival right here. Out of everything like the takedown and the charger, this one has so much of the black plastic with the orange plastic on it that it just looks fantastic. And I, 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 I like it a lot. Especially for, the, if I can slam a bigger spring in this and still get somewhat of a consistent shot, I'll be happy. And that's the next thing I'm going to kind of look towards because I did like the takedown a lot, but this holds a lot more and is overall a thinner blaster. And while the takedown's pump action, I don't mind this all that much. So this could overtake the takedown as possibly my favorite rival blaster to use, especially when it comes to a single shot rival blaster because typically they aren't that great, but the roundhouse just kind of ticks all the boxes for me. So I can kind of recommend picking one of these things up if you can stomach single shot rival and a pistol that is this freakishly big and then a 15 shot pistol. That being said, 15 shots is something in this configuration. It feels like it fires unendingly and it's really easy to top up on the fly. It's a primary worthy pistol, I would say. I'm... I'm impressed. I really am. Of course, I paid for this myself. This was not sent to me by Hasbro. And I think even though it's a pistol, I'm usually biased for them. Don't really like single shot rival. I wasn't a huge fan of the Kronos or anything like that. So keep that in mind. Most importantly, let me know what you think about the Nerf rival roundhouse down in the comment section below. Do you think it's worth keeping a blaster like this or would you rather just have the extra space for something like, I don't know, an Artemis and many of the other blasters that you could use in this slot? I would, would hazard to guess you guys would have some opinions on that. But regardless, I'm Walcom at 7. Thank you very much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. Can't you see I'm blazing? Still my heart is blazing. If the words kill me, I don't need a new world. How's you? My time is right. Where